Kitty, thank you. Now, seeing our region from the air is a real treat, but you need to know your cumulus from your Cirrus before you take off. Yes, for the second of our special weather films this week, Paul Mooney went to a flying school at Kirkbride Airfield near Wigton to find out how to make the most of the weather and the views. 500 feet above the Solway, the view is spectacular, and the best way to see it, by gyroplane. To master one of these machines, you need to get to grips with the weather. As part of our examination, we do have to understand meteorology and uh, so the met conditions, as you explain them quite clearly each day, are absolutely vital to us. We have to cover wind speed and direction, clouds and their formations and how they will affect us. And for obvious reasons, uh, rain, snow, ice, all ultimately have an effect and also have an effect on our human condition. The, the Cumbrian summer weather has been up and down, hasn't it, to say the least? Has it stopped you flying on many days? Uh, not at all. Uh, we do fly pretty much uh, all day, every day. And the students have to be able to fly in our mixed weather because inevitably you start off on a very clear day, but you could end up flying into uh, very rough conditions. And gyroplanes are probably the safest form of aviation. You know, we actually thrive on weather. They perform better. Uh, they are more stable, gives us a, a fabulous package to be able to go and fly in pretty much all meteorological conditions. So this is the gyroplane, uh, this is the propeller, this from the engine gives us thrust forward and then we have the rotor disc above us, this spins, creates lift and so to be able to fly it's the balance of thrust from the engine, lift from the rotors, compensating against the drag. It's like a flying motorbike. We, uh, you know, if you have any uh, inclination to enjoy flying, uh, then the gyroplane's the, the machine to do it in. If you want to go from A to B very quickly, uh, get yourself an aeroplane. Time to take to the air. The safety gear is a necessity, and the thermal flying suit, well, it's cold up there. Travelling business class or jetting off on your holidays, then this is a million miles away. You're not looking out at the weather, you're actually a part of it. You feel every gust of wind, every change of temperature, and it's completely exhilarating. Flying over miles of this beautiful coastline, apart from a group of half net fishermen, we hardly saw another soul. We're well used to looking at dramatic shots of the Lake District. The Solway Firth is perhaps. Cumbria's forgotten corner and in many ways the scenery is just as spectacular and you don't get many better vantage points than here. Some absolutely stunning shots of the scenery there, Paul. But I have to say, you'd never get me up in one of those. It's like it, some out of James it, Bond. It was a real experience. <laughs> what you don't see is the giant shoehorn getting me out of it again at the end. But it was fantastic. It was like a flying motorbike, basically. <laughs> Great stuff. Now, uh, we had lovely conditions there over Kirkbride for when we filmed that uh, gyroplane piece. Today, things were much more volatile.